appreciate that my first meal um i did get up earlier at half four to do my photos i'm absolutely wrecked i hardly slept last night i woke up every single hour thinking i was gonna oversleep and um, so here's the visual from this morning and um, fasted no no food or drink or whatever i just lay down for a little while um i didn't go back to sleep <laughs> today is gonna be a seriously caffeinated day Anyway, I'll bring you through what I'm having for my first meal. Um, slight change. I was meant to have cream rice. Now I'm just having rice. Uh, I prepped that yesterday. So I have rice, frozen berries. I am um, defrosted them earlier. Honey, dark chocolate. And salt. So I have a gram of salt on every meal today. Um, mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's make some brekkie. Never had uh, rice with berries before. But I don't care because I'm so hungry so hungry and um, so I just prepped loads of rice yesterday and also get my meals ready for later Um, not not a crazy amount of carbs I just have some more rice so I have 100 grams cooked and then I have 75 grams cooked so that's about 40 grams sorry 30 grams and 40 grams uncooked Um, so yeah like not major and then it's kind of mainly honey um, or jam and then salt 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 have some egg whites as well to go with my next meal um, a bit of a weird combination all through the day to be honest it's like egg whites rice honey dark chocolate <laughs> let's see last night and um, I have my little bag of tricks ready to go. I'll obviously tidy it up and kind of refine what I need um, but that's just all my little, these are really handy to have um, for days like this, the like mini lunch boxes when you just need you know, to weigh out 30 mils of something or whatever, the little lunch boxes are really handy. So we just have the rice and berries. I'm gonna make a coffee because let's be real, um, I'm not gonna get back to sleep. I got these new coffee pots. You know when you're feeling real bougie, I'm actually buying espresso pots. <laughs> There's a new Milano one. You should all try them in the shop. Because you bet your bottom dollar I get the free coffee. of the gods um so this one for my next meal i just have 75 grams of um cooked rice so that works out about 30 grams of uncooked um and then i just have two egg whites because i wasn't there prepping like 20 grams of chicken <laughs> um lid okay so that can go back into the fridge i hate wasting food i don't usually just do that but um yeah don't want to be yolks just needed a lean source of protein um i'm gonna make a roll later lads but the one like seriously consistent craving for me was having a crusty roll like not even not a chicken fillet roll nothing like that just nice turkey salad cheese mm. so i'm gonna make one of those with a few rice for later after the show. Now, let's see how berries and rice and honey. 
tomatoes. So I have to add 30 grams of honey. Let's see how this ball goes. Ooh, salt on your berries and your rice, lads. The things they do for bodybuilding, eh? Wow, 30 grams is actually quite a lot of honey. Will probably work with the salt, I suppose. Mm. So, there we have. <laughs> Rice, very sunny. <laughs> and then I have two grains of the dark chocolate. And I will enjoy the shit out of that with my coffee. Um, can't keep a fine hair, lads. Five months on prep. 20 weeks and five days. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, my face is so much paler than my body. Guys. It's obviously prep brain speaking, but this is not half as bad as you think it would be. Could be the starving child within me. It's just instead of cream rice, it's rice. He is awakened. Did I awake him? Sorry. No, sorry. She's not sorry. Time to prep more food, but this is the... This is the roll station. So we got the crusty roll yesterday. It's rebaking in the air fryer. We have some turkey slices, lettuce, Branston pickle, if you know, you know, like mayo, beetroot, sweet corn, cracker barrel, vintage mature, super strong, sharp cheddar, yum, and boiled egg. And that is what I'm gonna have when I come off stage, grab a coffee, let everything settle before we go for like a, you know, a, off plan meal, probably gonna have pizza. Okay, so I'm gonna run you through what I have in my show day bag. Hello, baby. I can't wait to call you properly later. Oh, oh, my best little doggo, best little doggo. Um, yeah, so tripod for just recording posing and stuff like that. So gonna bring that with me. Um, I have my bag of food, obviously. So I went through that earlier. That's all my pre-show and um, post-show roll. Um, then, hi baby, hi baby. Then I just have some shorts and a different yes. top for when I'm in backstage later and kind of leave and if, uh, I wanna wear those. I have my shoes, spare pair of shoes, just in case. Um, so if you do have spares, definitely bring them. You never know, you never bloody know. Have my bikini officially the first time I've shown the colour on camera. Woo! Um, so that goes in the bag. Then what else do we have? We have hair straighteners. I just straightened my hair there, but it's gonna be up in the little um cover thing, neck thing for the tan. So I'll just um go over it before stage again. Then I have AirPods so I can listen to my chill out music backstage. I have all my makeup, my glam. I'll run you through that kind of properly later, but um, yeah, have all of that with me. Have some wipes. <laughs> you can never have enough baby wipes as a bodybuilder at a show. Have an umbrella, just in case running in from the rain. Have a little robe for wearing backstage. Have flip flops, a towel. Um, you just have to be super prepared. So like literally think of every eventuality and every little thing that you could possibly need and bring that because you don't want to be left, you know, stuck or without something um, and risk something going wrong then, you know? Uh, do I have anything else? Oh yeah, then I just have like um, other bits. I have like eyeshadow palettes, hairspray, my jewelry. I actually haven't decided what um, what bits of jewellery to wear with my suit, yeah? Oh, I have my old number as well. That's not been used in a while, clearly. <laughs> Everything's still in there. Um, but yeah, just a lot of, a lot of bling. Earrings, bracelets. Had to take my, can you get away from my food bag, please? 
Um, I had to take my belly ring out, so yeah, they don't like um, belly rings in NPC, which is fine. Just have like the likes of hairbrush, clips, um, shine spray, body oil, setting spray, hairbrush, um, hand sanitizer spray because you can't wash your hands or shower or anything, and obviously you can't use the gel because that's gonna fuck up your tan. So I just I'm just using the spray, um, and that's really it for the. The show day bag guys off we go okay so we are top coated and i'm just about to have my next meal um really weird combo rice egg whites salt and honey um and then i also have another two squares of dark chocolate and um, i'm gonna go grab a coffee then do my makeup and we have the athletes meeting at nine show starts at ten and glam is on it's so hard to find a room on your own so um Going with the blue to match the suit I used. I'll show you what palette I used. And um, really good pigment in it. Carnival from Be Perfect. Very good. Um, and the foundation I used was Huda Beauty. Um, stunning. Very, very full coverage. Very full. And I didn't put like I didn't lather it on. And then the concealer is Shape Tape. Um, from Tarte. Is it Tarte? Yeah. So. Lips are in gloss and Morphe. And it's almost time to go on. Um, well, not time to go on, but I'm, I'm done now. I'm sorted, I'm feeling a lot more chill. I can just put the feet up, relax, listen to some music. I'm gonna have food in about half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, okay, so um, final like meal before uh, I go on. I just have my AirPods in. Um, I have a room to myself in here because I was doing my makeup where the promoter Amy was in. So no one else came in. So I'm actually just in such a lovely little uh, stress-free environment right now. So I just have two rice cakes. Um, and then I'm gonna have 30 grams of honey. And I'm also going to have two more squares of dark chocolate. Um, Mint, fuck it, and um, yeah. So, literally, just have this snack, and then before I pump up around uh, half eleven, I will have uh, a, a similar snack just rice cakes, honey, um, maybe some jellies or something like that. I'll see, but I also have to add um, salt to these rice cakes, so yeah, we'll see. Although, with the honey and salt, lads, combo hasn't been, hasn't been too bad at all. It's a uh, a lot of grams of honey on a rice cake. Fish, rice cake, fish, rice cake. Oh, I haven't eaten one bit of fish this week and I have not eaten one bit of asparagus. So definitely a different, um, definitely a different peak week experience um, versus what I did before. But that's the thing with competing. Like if you've left it super long, like so many things change and you know, like your kind of previous practices might be kind of gone out the window. Um, which is great because I'm just sipping on water, having my salt and doing all of that and not worrying about, you know, like being super dehydrated or anything because realistically in the past that did me no favours. I just couldn't get a pump and I was super flat. Um, definitely for my last regional show. Arnold's I did, um, I did look a bit better but Anyway, I'm just waffling now, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna practice some pose now after this, and I'll show you guys that. Not bad. Don't hate it. Probably eat it again. Mm -mm. Mm. I need food, really. I'll come back on and actually, um, in a little while, because some people did send in some questions on Instagram. Um, about show day and stuff, so um, I'll sit down and answer them. I would feel a lot about what I eat, so <laughs> I preempted that. Okay, we are tanned up, glammed up. Um, I'm gonna give you a look. So, haven't um. Haven't pumped up, just about to go 
pump up now, have my bands. That's another thing that you pack in your uh, case. So um, I'm gonna go downstairs, meet Gary. He's gonna help me pump up and um, get ready. Let's fucking do it. Turn to the right. Go, me! Face forward. Come on, baby, let's go! Go, me! Go! Well done, Jen. Nice. Quarter turn to the right. Come on, baby, let's go! Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Yes. Face forward, please. What's on, Jen? Come on, Maeve. Come on, Maeve. Come on, Maeve. Thank you, ladies. Come on, Maeve. Come on, Maeve. They're all ready for food. Just back home and um, went for food with the gang. And because <laughs> I made my roll, I really underestimated how full I was going to be from that. So I didn't, I just picked it a few bits um, and I got like a kid's pizza. I took half of it home. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave room and have a cookie with a cup of tea now and she'll watch a little episode of Netflix and then. I think I'll rendezvous with the gang later on when everyone has had a nap. Everyone is absolutely wrecked, um, including myself. So yeah, just letting everything digest and process and thrills, like genuinely thrills. Um, Good morning guys. It is the next day, the dust has settled and uh, little man is running around. Hello, Baba. Hello. Mm. Are you just as wrecked as I am? Oh, you got lots of attention and lots of visitors yesterday and lots of excitement. Oh, 
can we just, like, can we just appreciate the fact that he's giving me a hug right now? I actually can't, lads. Oh. No, thank you, Papa. Thank you. Um, and then we go, baby. Then we go. So it's the next day, of course. And um, what better to do? Only a fucking photo shoot. So I'm gonna get ready. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup, and yeah, I, I I know I didn't really go through the, the makeup yesterday, so I'm just gonna show you what I used because it's gonna be the same for today. Um, now these are just samples. So anybody doing shows or photo shoots, honestly. Don't be buying a full thing because it's just such a waste. Like you're not gonna wear be that color very often. And um, yeah, it's, so this is Huda Beauty Churro. Oh God, I bet you won't be able to see that. It's Churro and it's 415N. And then the concealer is Shape Tape. Shape Tape 425. So they're the two colours um, and I find with like the competing colours a lot of people are going to be able to use the same like it's, it's you know it's not a time to colour match for those or you're, you're in the realm of that colour and um, one can kind of fix it with bronzers and highlights and stuff so yeah I'm going to go do my makeup and um, shoot with Brett Earl today over in the Riserwear gym in Malaga and um, so really excited for that. I have an Irish girl, Caramel, coming to do my hair. She's going to do something really cool. Um, so we're going to have some fun and do something new because I can never really do much of my hair, especially now that it's short. So um, it's definitely not going to look like this um, in a couple of hours. Um, and plan is to just chill today. Gary has a festival thing on. I'm not going because I just would not have the energy. Um, and I just want a little time to decompress. But I'm... Waking up, third figure novice. Like, and I know that's not like the biggest achievement in the world. Like, I know that, but it is the biggest achievement I've had to date. So it means so much to me. Um, and like, was it a huge show? Was it a huge class? Like, no, not particularly, but I actually don't care. Um, because it just kind of gave me what I needed it to um, and it was just that I made the right choice that I was in the right category that you know all the work was going towards the, the right decision basically and um, so I'm really happy I'm going to get the judges feedback for sure I'm going to email Damo um, and get his thoughts um, and just see if, if it's kind of what I'm thinking anyway um, which is obviously to be more conditioned get I, I would like my waist to look smaller now that I've looked at the lineup um definitely so that's just about remember to get those lats flared properly that's all i can do at the moment and then obviously widen them in the next off season i did i did my front pose a bit funny yesterday and i think that hurt me for sure i did i don't know whether nerves or something but my legs were a bit spaced so they weren't together um and some of the front poses which is a bit annoying but um yeah definitely more conditioning and obviously more size along the posterior as well but I'm really happy. There's Gary making a little cameo appearances in his undies. <laughs> so yeah, no, really, really happy. Like, I'm, I'm not on the big come down or anything like that. I'm, I'm actually buzzing. Um, and I'm excited for nationals, even the experience. Like, look, realistically, am I going to be come, come uh, near an open placing in, in Brisbane? Probably not, but um, hopefully I can make improvements and even kind of be in with it look in in the novice categories. I'm, I'm thrilled, like really, really happy with yesterday. Um, and I'm really excited for this shoot today. I'm really excited for the next month. It's gonna be rough, it's gonna be really hard, but I'm excited to work and see what we can do. Shoot is done, it was so good. Um, really happy with some of the shots we got, like really, really happy. Updated some of the basics, like you know, like lap hold down and rolls and stuff, but got some new cool shots. And um, it was really good to shoot with Brett because I shot with him years ago, like after my last show, and we were just chatting about how different it was, and um, which was cool. So, definitely going to compare some of those. Um, and geez, I must dig them out. I'll, I'll pop some from years ago, um, and I will 
pop some from today as well um, and there'll be more over on my Instagram for sure um, I went to three or four different bakeries to try and get my cinnamon scroll and none of them had any left I'm devastated because that is literally all I wanted I wanted white sourdough to go home and make poached eggs and salmon and nowhere had white sourdough either so I made a sacrifice I went to Mary Street Bakery still lovely but just I feel like when it's post comp and post shoot get what you want because you try and make it up in other ways so I've gone and got a donut and a hot cross bun and bread I'm like oh whatever I'll settle for it but it's just it's not gonna fully satisfy the fucking craving so it's really hard not to then just eat other things because you can't get the thing you really want Ugh. that really annoyed me I literally screamed in my car I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> but these are pretty sexy little lemon meringue got this for later toast that with real Kerrygold and I got some grainy sourdough to make brunch with and an almond cappuccino what is up guys I'm back home with this little monster oh Django um, so just gonna make some food went into cold I was just in that mood I just couldn't really think of what I wanted and when you're like that, you don't really want anything. So I'm just sticking with what I was planning. I'll show you what I got. So I did get this bread earlier, but it just wasn't the one I wanted. So I was, I'm gonna freeze that because it's pre-sliced. So that's perfect for the freezing. So I went and got sourdough in coals. And I got some hollandaise sauce and I'm gonna make that. Um, I did get, these are one of those shepherd avocados. They're not meant to be great. I'm gonna try it, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. These are obviously for tomorrow, the chicken and rice and nando sauce. My friend made some special brownies. I'm gonna try them. Then I got, these are my favorite chocolates ever, but obviously I didn't want to buy a big thing. So I just got those and I had two. Now this chocolate is unreal if you've never tried it, but I think they changed the thing. So I'm hoping it's, I'm nearly hoping it's not nice so I don't eat it, but I just want a, a piece or two of that. I'm gonna go and make some grub. Yes, so this is actually turning out okay, guys. You have no idea how fucking happy I am. I have not had this meal in five months, okay? Fresh sourdough, oh my God, the feel of it. I'm gonna poach some eggs. I got, this is a pretty okay hondo sauce for a packet. And it's small, so I hate waste and stuff. And then smoked salmon. Oh! So guys, that is show day, shoot day done. Um, can't wait to do it again gonna be bigger and better for Brisbane just have to put the head down had my food now back on plan tomorrow and really excited to just get to work make some improvements as much as we can in the next four weeks um, and just enjoy the process learn from the process of course I'll keep vlogging everything like that and um, so thank you for watching thank you for all of the support genuinely so many have reached out and it was overwhelming the amount of messages I got um, after show day. It was insane. So if you're one of the people who took the time to message or comment or anything like that, thank you so, so much. Um, make sure to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And again, any questions about comp day, show day, shoot, whatever it is, pop a comment below and I will get back to you. See you next week.